Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Coin Adventure Extraordinaire. My name's Twitchy, and we are going to be playing in Twitchy's Tremendous Trojan, the asteroid that I decided to colonize. Last time, we spent the vast majority of our times going around and trying to improve the number of ingredients that we had available to our chefs. We managed to do that. We managed to get the bristleberry and the mushroom uh, growing over quite well. But we did leave with a bit of an issue, and that last issue was indeed the fact that the mushrooms, the mushrooms, they need slime to be fertilized. And unfortunately, we do not have a ready source of slime that isn't just digging it out the floor. And as we know, digging slime out the floor is not a very sustainable option. So I'm going to make myself a slime farm using the power of the puffs. That's those little flying creatures that we saw at the top of the screen just there. And polluted water and some morbs and anything that I can think of that's going to make polluted oxygen. So just to give you a quick rundown of what my plan is the puffs when they breathe in a certain amount of polluted oxygen excrete out some slime now this slime is not particularly good for making either algae or like running it through the slime distiller there's just not enough but if you're using it to fertilize uh, the mushrooms then actually you have a fair amount for that so we're going to go ahead and do that and we're going to use this space above the natural gas generator to do it in mainly because that i already have the polluted water there and it's a nice big space that we can use and everything looks like it's going to be a going well having a look around at the rest of the base just to make sure everything is indeed ticking over the water's looking good the power's looking fine uh, the transit system as always looks like it needs some problems and also almost every mod uh, every uh pet that I have is suffering from over overcrowding right now. This is a problem, but not a problem that we can't uh, solve. Either we're going to have to do it the humane way and kill everything. <laughs> I don't know why that class is as humane. Or we'll move them around, or we'll just leave them suffering. But one of the problems that I... Well, not a problem. One of the things that I want to address is the fact that we have been printing out puffs from our printing pod for a little while now instead of uh, taking duplicates. And so we've been getting a, quite a selection of uh, puffs collecting around the printing pod. And I finally figured out how to make a, a law to well, what the law does. I used to think that the law was some sort of trapping device. No, it literally just calls them over. So you need to like um, leapfrog your way around the base. So one thing I've noticed here is that the automation system in this bottom tank here desperately needs to change. We need a larger volume to be used and unfortunately with the way that it's set up now, water quite often slops over that top hydro, uh, hydro device and uh, will turn off the pumping system when we've still got two entire layers of water to fill so this is not a workable system first we're going to send people to tidy up the mess that has happened because of all the backing up but almost immediately uh fixing the uh the problem though uh what i need to do of course is kind of simulate the tank emptying to turn the the water back on and that's just by turning the other hydro center at the bottom uh swap it uh, swap its polarity round uh instead of saying hey tell me when there's water here i'm like tell me when there isn't water here it goes uh and messes up the well it doesn't mess up and triggers the uh, the reset switch on the latch and turns the water back on so that's all going quite well uh, so I need to balance the priorities of my slimes I want the farms to take the highest priorities then I want the uh, algae distillers to take second priority um, I also have like some sort of storage system I need to worry about but what's going on right now the barn lily farm that we made last episode unfortunately the chlorine that's in there is not hot enough so we've built a pumping system to send it through the oven that is warming up the uh, warming up the wastewater We've got a heat source there. Why waste it? But I've also noticed that we've got a bit of a problem where we've got the vent feeding out right next to the pump, pretty much. All we're doing is warming up a very small area of that. So I'm going to move the vents around. We're going to put the vent at the bottom and the pump at the top. We're going to try and make the uh, tiles underneath the farm station into airflow tiles. I don't know why they're called airflow tiles because we're using chlorine and chlorine's not really cast, cast, uh, classed as uh, air. It is... Um, a gas though so may may maybe it's like gas flow tile maybe we need to rename that yeah definitely definitely and we're building ores across i've got a little um airlock going out the back of the med bay now this is an airlock that duplicates will never use but it is actually useful for luring the the puffs out if we can get them all into the med bay we can then open uh, lock the med bay open the other side and have this a uh, beautiful uh, flow going through so the whole bunch of skills built up mostly i'm just giving people what they love the only one that i'm really kind of paying any attention to is uh, trying to make Mad Frank uh, able to wear uh, the Space Cadet training. Uh, Wise looks like he's going to be the person who makes the actual spacesuits or maybe the conveyor system. I can't remember which one. Um, 
and it's all going pretty well there. Okay, so we're going to strip out the sort of the, the wasted system here. We're going to take the pop, the top uh, vent out. We're going to take out the pumps, the pipes that we're doing there. Uh, there's Mad Frank on his way towards Space Cadet. It's going to be going pretty well. The problem with this farm on this side, of course, is the fact that there is only one exosuit in the dock leading into it. Now, normally under normal operation conditions, no problem. There's only a farmer going in there. But when we want to get stuff built, it takes a little while. People need to deliver. Then the suit goes back and gets recharged. And then the... the job to build needs to be like met that by that time someone else might have delivered but we're moving puffs around look how cool that is they just kind of like all floated up there from a great distance uh, so we're gonna do the as i say we're gonna shut the door on the medical bay hopefully someone will come along and do that and then we're gonna get a, a law on the outside there though it turns out we didn't actually need that in the end uh they uh, the duplicants come along and build the law at the top there much much quicker who have we got working on here we've got mad frank we've got uh Shrek and possibly that's either Brum or Captain Subs. They, they're a little bit hard to tell the part from the uh, from the distance that Brum and Captain Subs, unfortunately. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a situation where we keep pulling a vacuum around the pump. It's not ideal. And also the uh, vent underneath is over-pressurizing. So that means we've got high pressure down below, low pressure up top. I mean, this is a natural separation that happens, but we'd kind of like to, uh, to move that through. I I've also just recently learned that... Uh, well, I was a little bit... Uh, cautious with telling another three to just carry on making uh, mushroom food. The reason being is that I had this kind of small idea in my head that maybe the mushrooms were actually the spores as well, but no, it turns out that mushrooms and fungal spores are two separate things. So you can just get your chef constantly making mushroom food and you will not run out of um, like mushroom seeds, if you will. Okay, looking over here, just making sure that the temperatures are going well. And I've noticed that people are still building the ladder up the other side. That's great. It's going to take them time though. Oh, it's so far away away and so low priority dig uh, I have no idea how long it's actually going to take but the, the time will be measured in hundreds of cycles I'm almost a certain so you can see that we've got the laws made on both of them but only the top law is actually going to go and get any um, anything put in there so we've locked the door already I'm going to take a shine bug because we've already got all the puffs we've locked the door of, to the medical bay already and we've opened up the airlocks on the other side letting in bad stuff from the outside but that's kind of okay and we're going to extend the transit system up here now obviously Obviously the slime farm, there we go, we've just put slime in and immediately the puffs are moving. I had to make sure that that middle law actually got turned off because I didn't, I thought that they were going to need like uh, encouragement every every tile of the way if you will like every like five or nine tiles something like that but it turns out no it's that they've actually got quite a range so that's pretty cool okay so my plan here is to have polluted water all across the bottom because it releases polluted oxygen that's nice and simple uh, and we're also going to try and get morbs and stuff like that in here the reason that we've got the layer of mesh tile is to catch the slime so that my duplicants going in and out can actually get it without having to like you know go swimming that's swimming in the uh, polluted water is not great so you can tell that we've got a, a long commute the top left of my screen has been saying long commutes for a very long time now and i was trying to find out exactly what it was that is causing the problems there and it's actually all the disinfections uh so I, I i don't know what to do about that maybe like turn up my my term my germ tolerance in the colony that might be a way all right so i'm trying to figure out where we can put in some uh, transit tube access here and i was kind of thinking underneath where that um hydrogen generator is there where the storage compactor is we could probably just move the floor down a little bit and then uh, move a uh, transit tube in there i think that would be a great idea i was also seeing if there was a way to go into the base but then i was like no no let's not do that because then we're going to end up with exosuits on the inside of the base instead of like being on the outside and they need to be like outside to come into the, into the checkpoint so that it can get recycled into the system yeah it was a bad plan so what we're actually going to do is make, carry on making people go through the main airlock now there are uh, reasons why that is not as most efficient you know they've got to go like if they're going from the farm they've got to go get down to the airlock back up to the slime farm to go back down to the airlock and up to the mushroom farm which you know we were just talking about long commutes that's probably where these sort of things come from but for the sake of the exosuits i'm going to keep it this way around so you can see the puffs have already got their way like through quite a lot of the polluted oxygen that had built up and we're starting to get slimes being moved around one of the uh the, the other things we're trying to do of course is move the transport tubes around but oh man these take time to build it turns out trying to get people uh onto the plastic delivery when there's so many other jobs to do that's a long thing that's a thing that nobody actually wants to engage with all right new builders coming off on up here i thought there were new builders but no there were slime 
slime deliveries for the lure. I'm not sure whether I'm going to leave that lure running in that room. I've, I've got a feeling I probably will, uh, just to make sure that the puffs stay where I want them. Uh, but of course, we need to set up a, a whole, like stable grooming station rah, 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 for all of that again the temperature seems to be sorting out but we're still pulling that vacuum i'm not overly impressed with that nearly emptied out all the polluted ox uh, polluted water sorry uh, from that pit above the above the base that's uh, gonna enable us to continue moving upwards it's kind of the stumbling block right now uh, and also I noticed that the people trying to encase the water tank down below actually uh, didn't have a way across a two wide gap and whilst we're doing that people came along chickens came along are they people I don't know answers down below um, came along and emptied out the the container for the water or the water tank as we call it um, and let it spread out the reason I'm letting it spread out is because of course that needs more surface area exposed to the uh, to the air uh, and more polluted oxygen being made maybe i don't know we'll, we'll have to check that and i'll let you guys know when i have some sort of numbers all right who have we got here this is cubic cubic's going along and learning everything that they uh, love so I'm, I'm mostly as i say for most of the skills just giving the jobs to people that love the jobs because that cuts the time in half uh we are gonna end up with weird situations where it doesn't quite work out that people are too so there's places in in the research tree where it branches off and comes back in right and if you don't do both branches you can't get the the last skill and there's going to be situations where people don't love everything along the way uh so we're gonna have to make people love uh, do some things that they don't love it's it's not how i like to run a, a, a colony i like to just keep keep running on passion and skill and you know stuff like that but we'll, we'll just have to make do with what we've got okay the digging up is starting to reach a little bit of a problem where we're going to be running into one of these old areas i don't, I don't know what to call these the pre-built areas from the old civilization but we're about to run into one of them so i make sure that we've got a little deconstruct errand run uh, and there we go we've got all the uh, the maximum layout for the the transit tubes put down putting down a few ideas for future systems just to see where we want to go and of course the whole time we are working up towards both the space and the cold biome that are up there why isn't ZTech not quite as in sync with their cabaret today as uh, another three and whoever else it was sorry I forget uh, were last time uh, and I think maybe now it's time to start cleaning up all this color sort of excess equipment that we've got over here that we had to install to try and deal with the oil spill now the reason that i want to clean it up it means that we can start moving the transit tubes down and through that system uh mainly because because of the weird way i've set up my walls and doors and stuff uh i i need a space to to, to send the transit tubes through the wall uh and those doors and the uh power join plate they, they need to go and become just a normal wall so i can get the tube through all right, so have a look around. Everything's looking all right. There's a few uh, extraneous things that aren't needed, but you can see, as I was saying, the disinfection is a real going around. So I've got a feeling that's one of the things that's going on and t taking up a lot of my time. I don't know if there's like an auto disinfect. It would be nice to get like some sort of like cleaning robot, right? Something that goes around um, like other than your duplicates uh, to do a whole bunch of stuff. All right, so looking through the skills, and I, I don't know when exactly it is I'm going to do it, but I'm going to uh, elect someone to be the new care assistant i think it ends up being wise might be wise might be brahm i can't remember off the top of my head um because we need to start using the start using the medical bay properly every now and then you'll see people are ill in particular at the moment sir steve is not doing particularly well uh, and i'm not sure what has triggered him to be unwell but now but once we get the uh, the doctor sorted we just need to make some medical packs they use the, the the doctor's chair they have a checkup everything then becomes okay uh it's not a thing that we can do right now because as you can see it's got that little hat symbol uh in front of the the doctor thing i think here we go oh it's ruby Ruby is the person we're actually upgrading to do it. My bad. It was neither wise nor brum. One of the things that's been holding us up on the building is the fact that we've run out of iron ore and I've like made all the, the mesh tiles out of iron ore. No particular reason. That's just the one that it selected. So we've got held up on a lot of things there. So I've, I've uh, cancelled those jobs and replaced them. So that should help us out immensely. We also had a bit of the same sort of system with the uh, card, the chlorine pump earlier on where we've actually run out of something and need to replace that seems to be a problem that strikes me a quite often but we need to try and contain this whole area here with all the puffs not just because it's full of polluted oxygen it's going to make all sorts of nasty things going around i don't think it actually releases any germs but still just having polluted oxygen is not great having your uh, dupes breathe that stuff but the other problem or the other uh, consideration the other reason that we're going to contain the room as we are is because we want to make the puffs um 
uh, domesticated, that's the word, domesticated, so that we can uh, have them producing more slime. I, I hear they produce more slime when they're domesticated. So we need to get it below 120 tiles, something like that. I can't remember the exact size of the uh, the space, but I did look it up and I started counting. Uh, we used the room overlay to make sure it was right. Uh, and yeah, we, we worked from there. Another thing I want to do is go through and start figuring out uh, people's priorities. Obviously, a few people's skills have changed over time. Uh, I'm noticing that, you know, Zed Tech's not with the building crew anymore and things like that, which is uh, a little bit of a shame. It was nice to see, like, the same three faces, like, pop up and do stuff. But, you know, rotations of jobs do, does happen every uh, now and then. And uh, honestly, it feels like the, the, the area is running a bit more efficiently. We've got we've got the, the background staff on the go, making sure that everybody's live and doing the, the work that they need to be doing. Um, and then you've got like the the, the, the forward-facing guys, the, the diggers, the builders, all that lot coming along and doing some other work. Okay, so a lot of things are out of uh, out of reach, so we've got to put down a whole bunch of ladders. It seems to be one of the major things that we uh, we spend our time doing in this game is just building like support scaffolding for the duplicates to get around. Uh, I hear that jetpacks are a thing, so maybe at some point we will get to that. But the main thing that we are waiting for right now is for someone, whoever does the supplying and the delivering for the team to uh, to to bring some plastic up for the for the tubes for the transit tubes okay so it's time to bring another layer of automation to this pump in the corner here i've noticed that uh, several times i have observed that it's pulling a vacuum that's that's no good so what we're going to do is we're going to set up an and gate we're going to say hey if it's cold and you haven't got a vacuum beneath you go ahead uh, the uh, balm lilies can survive in as low as 150 grams per tile so that's what we're going to have underneath the uh, the pump as a minimum them. That way we should have more than that over the top of the bar lilies at any one time and it will encourage flow of the warm materials up top which you know that, that's what we want that, that should be working out pretty well going around telling these guys to uh, to tidy up a lot of stuff every now and then I'll just notice somewhere that I, I was fairly sure should be clean and I'll just be like hey Level, level 9 priority, just get this room clean as soon as possible. Uh, that, that works out uh, pretty well, but it like, does mean for that segment of the cycle, no one's doing anything else. And the things that we need to do, well, of course, you can see them. They're right in front of us. Okay, Wise is going to be, become a mechanical engineer. This means he can put down uh, conveyor belts and stuff like that. So we're going to have to... Uh, Maybe we could automate the slime farm conveyor belt. I mean, we're really close, so maybe that's something we could do. I've not, I have literally never explored with the auto miners, the conveyor belts, any of this sort of stuff. So it's going to be very interesting, uh, maybe next episode, to see if we can uh, ship out some of the slime that gets dropped here. Uh, but we've got people going around and putting the roof in. Now we're going to end up with a puff trying to escape and it's not going to really work out well for him now i was kind of expecting that at some point people would be coming along and putting in the roof and then as you can see up there they would uh, expand out into like the, the upper area and then we'll get one stuck in the roof or something like that but not worse than that he is legitimately actually stuck in the tile so we need to come along and we need to break that down uh for some reason it, it, he does that over building the tiles. I mean, that's all good. I, I'm not sure what the actual order or the priorities of uh, building over destruction actually are. I, I think that destruction actually takes the highest priority so that you can save your, your, your bad guys and stuff like that. Sorry, your, your critters and stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, that, that's just that's just amusing. That's just amusing. Okay, there was a little bit of a problem when they put the wires in. I didn't put the last thing that actually connects that entire system up to the pump small oversight but it means that none of none of the uh, automated systems are actually being used right now but that's that's something that is fixed literally off screen people just come along and uh, fix that it was one single uh, wire so people using the uh, the transport tubes around it, it makes me smile every time i see them use it i, I don't know why i just it, it the the animation is amazing the sounds are just so like <laughs> It, it's great. I love it. You might not realize it, but this slime farm is actually fully producing now. Uh, we've got enough uh, slime being made to do all but one of the mushrooms. I didn't realize it was going to be quite so close. I was either expecting to not be able to do like more than three of the mushrooms or like be so over swamped with slime or just so under. Yeah, I, I didn't expect it to be like, oh, one, one mushroom wrong. Uh, so that that's the thing. Uh, the main thing that's holding up all of these tube deliveries is, is just waiting for people to get all the, uh, the plastic around. 
people are doing their best by people, I mean duplicates. We've had this conversation many times before, but no one's actually told me whether they class a duplicates as a person or not. More fungal sp spores are from the printer. That's pretty nice. But with that, we've actually managed to get the uh, the whole tube network hooked up to the slime farm. So that should speed up the process uh, immensely. I kind of want to fix all the stuff down the bottom here now. We've got a few things that, that could be uh, tweaked a little bit. Uh, the... Uh, transport pipe kind of does a little u-bend when it doesn't need to because i was like trying to learn how the system started down there and also as mentioned at the very beginning of the episode there's a whole bunch of uh, infrastructure down below that was used to help clear out the oil spill that uh, doesn't need to be there anymore taking a moment to quickly go around and have a look at all my geysers make sure nothing is uh, going wrong uh, one of the gas geysers is indeed dormant but that's fine there is no a problem with that we are actually at a system where we're expecting at least one guy the gas guys are to be down at any one time you may have noticed that very quickly in the airlock i uh, decided to change the air delivery system i want to have a vent in the airlock uh, anyway just to make sure that there is an overpressure in the airlock to push anything that's on either side of it back away when the airlock door opens uh, it's just a nice little system there but i've also noticed that mostly we are choked by the number of exosuits we have for people going out and fixing stuff on the left hand side of the base i don't know why the left hand side has become like so so much more the industrial powerhouse but that that's kind of how it's worked out here um and that's that's what we've got to deal with so we're going to put down a whole lot lot more uh suit modules on the side there i don't know if i've actually set up the actual suits to be made but uh that looks like a not okay having a look through and just seeing whether the slime actually gets uh, evaporated before someone comes along and picks it up and it turns out no no matter how much slime seems to be produced uh we always get people coming along and uh, grabbing it taking it off to the mushroom farm before it evaporates uh, off into polluted oxygen again. Uh, that's where I saw the jet suit. I'm not sure how you go about making the jet suit, uh, but we'll have to figure that out. Uh, Shadow now become the greatest farmer they can possibly become. Uh, another three getting some more cook skills. Uh, Zed learning uh, some building so that you can get back in on the build team uh, and stuff like that. Also trying to get more more artwork around. The, the, the random decor is pretty bad. I uh, also noticed that we are out of our uh, refined metal so we need to set that up right so this is the point where i realized that the space is too large for the stables i go along and put down a few builds on the left hand side to kind of restrict the space but i think i'd also like to bring down the roof and thinking about it post post game what i should have done is move the lure down to the bottom left there and then brought the roof down and then only had like the pipe network to get in and out and you know that that would work out pretty well okay so the bottom tube has been sorted out uh, to to uh, go over a shorter unit rather than like s curving about and that's a pretty a uh, cool whilst the evening sets in the duplicates are kind of dealing with their stuff out all around the base i'm going to take a moment to note that we didn't really have to deal too much with the water system today finally we might actually have some sort of system that is entirely self-regulating which i think is a, a, a really important place to be at where we are with the base right now looking at the uh the chlorine warming device that seems to be working pretty well as well and slowly but surely we're getting a few um a few paintings being made uh, around the storage areas so with the with the stable now formed we're gonna go around and take out all the different ladders they're just like a random buildings that we don't need and we're gonna ask for the delivery of the exosuits to the docking stations you can see that they are actually working out oh well it's going around gonna try and get everything all tidied up so it's a nice clean system in there but trying to get all everybody out is gonna be a bit of a system and even with the expanded exosuit docks we run out of the number of exosuits that we have uh, I think we actually might even have to at some point try and figure out a way of getting an exosuit for every duplicate out there but we're definitely going to have to upgrade the oxygen system for that it seems to be lagging a little bit behind when it comes to just filling up those new suits uh, interesting situation come out that we nearly drained the entire power battery for the uh, the transit tube uh, sender there I I've never seen that before just everybody will kind of like queued up trying to uh, clear out the way but that worked out beautifully uh, another quick check to make sure that all the ranching is exactly as I predicted and wanted. It'd be nice to see if there was any sort of like immediately observable difference
into the amount of slime that got dropped, but I've got a feeling that we wouldn't actually be able to see any difference anyway, at least not from this, like, cursory oak from the outside point of view. Uh, if there was some way we could get any numbers sorted, that would be good. Can take a moment to enclose the anti-entropy device that we have up there, but it's, like, right next to space, so I'm not entirely sure why we'd need that. Hollywood going around doing the actual uh, grooming at the moment, but I've got a feeling we need a feeding device in there as well to make them fully domesticated, and with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time. Well, actually, I don't know what we're going to be doing next time, but I will see you then when we're going to do whatever it is we're going to do. Bye!